Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I have another video on one of my favorite things and that is desserts. And this video is going to be showing you how to use these healthy choice fudge bars in three different ways for three different really, really easy desserts. Now these are great all by themselves. They are also great in these three different desserts. Now I found all these ideas off of the actual Weight Watcher website. I've also seen some of these around on Pinterest and stuff too. So I kind of just put my own twist on a couple of these and I'm gonna show you how I make them. Now, of course, on the Weight Watcher website, they are telling you to use their ice cream bars in all of these, and I've never actually tried theirs. Comment down below if you have, because I'm curious how those taste. I've always just eaten these Healthy Choice ones and bought these, and these are really, really good for just three points. I do believe the Weight Watcher ice cream bars are four, at least the ones that I've looked at. But yeah, I'm curious as to any of you that have had those, what you think of them, because these are kind of my go-to. This first one I've seen several different variations of in different places other than the WW website. And it's not something I've ever made before and I've never used those cookies before either. Um, I'm not gonna try to say the word. I killed it in my Aldi haul, which I feel bad about. And a couple people were nice enough to tell me how to pronounce it, but I still probably won't say it right. So anyway, those are what you start this with. And like I said, I have seen different variations of these using those. And they come in not only vanilla, but also chocolate at Aldi. So I just picked up some vanilla. So I've got four of them there on the plate. And now I'm gonna take this fudge bar and I've let it defrost for a couple minutes. And I will say, I ended up letting my fudge bars defrost a little bit too long <laughs> doing this. Um, you only wanna let them defrost for about two minutes. I got distracted. They defrosted a little bit longer than that. And so they ended up being a little mushy, but you're gonna take one of those you're gonna cut it in half and you're gonna put it on one of those cookies. And that second half will slide off the stick pretty easily, really, once these have defrosted. In fact, they slid a little too easy off of the stick of one of the other desserts I was doing and it went flinging across the room. So <laughs> be careful when you're pushing on those so it doesn't go flying off. Now I'm gonna take a knife and I'm gonna just kind of gently mush these down and you can tell here where I was talking about they defrosted a little too much because they're starting to get a little liquidy and you don't want that. So um, only defrosties about a couple minutes. So as I said, I'm pushing these down lightly so as to not break the cookie underneath them. And now I'm gonna take some fruit. I've just got some sliced strawberries here and some sliced bananas. And I'm gonna just lay those on the top of that ice cream for just a little extra something. Now you don't have to use fruit at all, in fact, I don't think most versions of this that I've seen do. They just simply do the ice cream and the cookies, but I want a little extra something. So I added some fruit and you could add whatever type of fruit you wanted. Now I'm gonna just simply top these with another cookie, slightly pressing down. And as you can see, I'm losing my bananas there. And then what I do with these once I get all these topped is I stuck them back in the freezer for a couple minutes just to keep them from continuing to melt. Otherwise, they'd probably be best served right now. Here's a little closer look at these. I tried both the strawberry and the banana, and I thought they were pretty good. I really like those cookies also, and they're something that I think you could do a lot of different desserts with. I can think of a lot of different ways in which to use those, so I'll be buying those again. I'll probably try the chocolate next time, but yeah, as far as an ice cream sandwich goes, I thought these were really good, and they're just three points a piece, so three points for a nice little dessert, can't beat that. And you can play around with these and use different ice cream bar flavors. Like I said, the Weight Watcher ice cream bars, I know they come in several different flavors. And these cookies come in the chocolate, so you could play around with different flavor combinations with that. And yeah, I just think these are a really easy, tasty little dessert. This next one is very easy, but also very tasty, especially if you are a coffee person like I am. So I just take that fudge bar and I let that defrost a minute or two also, just so I could get it off of the stick a little easier. And I got it off there pretty easy and went flying across the room. <laughs> That's what I was talking about when I said, be careful with these, because they will fly off that stick. So next I'm using some of this Stoke cold brew coffee. We love this coffee, by the way, it is so good. It is zero smart points for a serving of it. And it just has a really nice smooth flavor. So we love this 
all by itself, but I'm gonna add that to it. So eight ounces of a cold brew coffee and then just a few ice cubes. And then I'm gonna just blend this up and that is all there is to it. I'm using my Nutribullet. That's what I have and I really like this thing. It works super well, but you could use a blender if you don't have something like this. So you just blend that up for not even 30 seconds and it is ready to go. It does not get really any easier than this. And as I said before, I love my coffee and this is just kind of coffee in more of a dessert like form. The consistency of this is a lot like, I would say a frappe or something, which I think of as desserts. And this just has a whole lot less calories and points than something like that, but it is very, very good. And with the different types of ice cream bars that WW has, you could mix up the flavors in this and make it kind of your own with just whatever type of ice cream flavor you want to use. I'm gonna have my hubby try this. I'll let you know what he thinks about it. Oh yeah, that's good. And that is three points for that. I mean, really it just, it just kind of softens the coffee a little bit. I mean, that's good coffee, mind you, but it, I don't know how to explain that. Cause you don't really taste the fudge. It doesn't taste like one of those fudge bars that are really good. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like really good sweetened coffee. Hmm. All right. Those are super, super easy. Thank you. Yes. This next one is called an ice box cake and it is definitely my favorite of the three here. It reminds me a little bit of a banana split and what it tastes like, but it is just very good. And again, very easy. So I'm just starting off here with a loaf pan that I'm lining with a little bit of parchment paper, which is giving me a whole lot of trouble, but eventually I get this lined. And the point of doing this is just so you can lift this out of the pan really easy when you're ready to eat it. So you wanna leave a nice bit of overhang there that ends up acting as kind of your handles to pull this out. Then you're gonna start off with some reduced fat graham crackers. Now I was thinking about this and you could definitely use those cookies that I used in the very first one for this too. And those are actually lower in points than the graham crackers are, but I normally make this with graham crackers, so that's what I'm doing here. But I might try it with those cookies and see how that tastes. So I'm just taking three sheets. I've got two full ones there and one I broke in half and I'm just lining the bottom of this pan the best that I can. Next, I'm gonna take half of this container. It's an eight ounce container of fat-free whipped topping and I'm gonna just spread that on the top of these graham crackers. Next, I'm gonna take four of these fudge bars that I've let defrost for a couple minutes. I'm gonna take them off their sticks and I'm going to just lay these in here, lightly pressing them down. And now I'm gonna take a banana that I've sliced up and I'm gonna just lay the slices on top of the fudge bars. Next, I'm gonna take about a cup of frozen berries. That's just blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. And I'm gonna sprinkle these on top of the bananas. Now you could use whatever type of fruit you want for this. I just really like these berries because they add a little bit of a tartness to the super sweetness that's going on in this. And I just think they're a good pairing. So I like to use these, but like I said, you could use any type of fruit that you wanted. It could be either fresh or frozen, either one would work. Now I'm gonna take three more sheets of those reduced fat graham crackers and I'm gonna just lay those on top. And then I'm gonna follow that with the other half of the whipped topping. And I'm gonna just spread that on top of the graham crackers. These are the berries that I'm using in this. The triple berry blend from Sam's Club. We love these and they're very reasonably priced too for that bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some more of these and I'm gonna just sprinkle them on the top, not only for a little more fruit, but just for the aesthetic of it too. I think it looks nice. The recipe says to put this in the fridge for an hour and then remove it and put it in the freezer for a couple hours or until it firms and sets up. 
I don't do the fridge step. I would guess the point of that would be to let this kind of continue to soften and melt a little bit so that it all kind of comes together. But like I said, I don't do that. I just stick it right in the freezer, put a little piece of saran wrap on it, and I let it sit overnight or at least four hours. And here it is the next day. Now I went ahead and just took this out of the freezer and let it sit for just about five minutes or so. And now I'm gonna just take those pieces of parchment paper, pull it right out of there, and I'm going to slice this up. Now, I like to use a hot knife to do this, so I just run it under hot water, and that makes cutting through stuff like this a whole lot easier. A serving of this is an eighth of this whole thing, and that is six points. Here's a little closer view of it. And as I said before, this is just very, very good. It's a nice combination of sweet with just a little bit of tartness from those raspberries and blackberries. And as I was saying before, this just kind of reminds me a little bit of a banana split and what it tastes like. It's just very good, very summery, and one of my go-tos. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these three quick and easy desserts. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.